it's me, Mackenzie Marie. My hair is very short today, and I'm gonna change that. After dyeing my hair with every single candy and marker under the sun, it's no surprise that my hair, it got really destroyed. For the past year, I've been trying to grow my hair out, and I've been trimming it and cutting it as much as I can. It's been exactly 442 days since the last time I bleached my hair, and yes, I've been counting. Six months ago, I got clip-in ponytail extensions to help, you know, give my hair some length because I was hating it and it was dead. And yes, it gave me a little bit of confidence, but I've been missing having just regular long hair. I've never been the type of person to wear clip-in extensions regularly because honestly, I didn't know how to wear them and I could never get them to blend in my hair properly. But today, I'm a new woman. I got 22 inch long extensions. I'm going to dye cut and blend them into my destroyed hair so I don't have to destroy it anymore. And I just want a little extra pizzazz. I'm gonna try out a tutorial I saw on TikTok that shows you how to blend in hair extensions and make it look natural. I'm really hoping this works because I did not just spend $300 on hair extensions for it not to work. These are Bellamine Silk real human hair extensions. They are 240 grams of hair, which is a lot of hair. This is rooted walnut into ash blonde. I got the hair extensions like this because I don't want to dye or mess with my regular hair at all. I want to be able to put these in my hair and have it look natural AF. I'm going to dye these to match my hair, like identically. Identically? Is that even a word? These are soft and silky, and if you want to get your hands on some of them, I'm going to leave a link down below. I got two boxes of hair dye that I believe matches my regular color of dye. Yes, I'm using box dye. Rip me apart in the comment section if you like. I don't care. You're putting box dye on $300 hair extensions? Oh my God! <laughs> I do what I want around here, okay? First box of hair dye. Let's do this thing. This is conditioner. We don't need you. Goodbye. Also would like to tell you now, if you came to my channel for a tutorial, you're at the wrong channel. Like, yeah, it's gonna turn out amazing. Like, and if you wanna watch it and like see how I did it, stick around. I'm gonna start with the smallest hair extension that I have, which is two clips. I'm to write chafe. It's like when your legs rub together. My legs, they like, they chafe every time I wear shorts. It's so annoying. You don't even know what that was about. <laughs> As that is developing, I'm going to put in the first layer of hair extensions. In wow, why did no one tell me how bad my dandruff was? Stick it in, clip it, and then flip the hair back over, brush it over. I would dye the hair dark brown here, and then the rest I would dye it blue. I'm gonna do every layer like this so I know exactly where to put the color. I'm not gonna recommend you to do it like this. But I'm doing it on newspapers. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. <laughs> also, don't mind my Harry Potter pants. You thought I was actually gonna look presentable from the waist down? You're tripping. I'm gonna dye about this much dark brown. That's how long the dark brown is in my actual hair. I am going to put a little bit of this on here and just try to ombre it and like be very like soft with it. You can always put more but you can't put less. And that's really important when you're doing this and you're like using darker colors. You're not gonna want bleach human hair extensions. Like that's not cute, sis. If you actually are planning on doing this, I would say go slow and steady. Like don't rush it. This is probably gonna take me three hours. All of the hair extensions are processing right now. I'm gonna let these chill here for like, I don't know, an hour. I think they're looking pretty good. Don't be an idiot like me. Wear gloves. The hair extensions, oh my God, these look a little bad. That looks like a tiger stripe. It's fine. I'm gonna wash it out upside down so like nothing else gets on the blonde part. No doing the shower. It's already made that mistake. I should have done this in the sink. I should, you should do this in the sink, not the shower. Sometimes it'll take like overnight for them to dry. So this could be like a three day process of <laughs> dying these. Like seriously, is this a serious matter? Super cereal. Super duper cereal. Super duper. Day two. So far I think it's come out pretty good. Now we gotta dye in blue. This is going to be the biggest bowl of hair dye you've ever seen. I was considering using a bucket, but I thought that was far too extra. If I need it, I will go get it. I'm literally just gonna unscrew the entire cap. We need all of it. The entire thing. Into the bowl! 
This is so much hair dye. Almost there. That should be enough. I'm gonna use a variety of colors today, starting with green, calabanga. Let's do that much green. Still my sunshine. Oh, wait, what the heck? I just got this out of the box and it's pink. Why is it pink? What is happening? I put some orange in it just to be fun. We love good dye young. I guess I'm gonna use narwhal instead. Some of this. Aquamarine. My Arctic Fox is a staple. And the rest will just be that. And now I mix it together. My gosh, it's so much dye. The ultimate bowl of teal hair dye. This is the most beautiful bowl of hair dye I have ever made. I'm gonna do long strokes with this. Just, yep, right down it. Is this not gorgeous or what? I cannot wait to wear these. I am so excited. Hour 369 of dyeing these darn hair extensions. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Wait, wait a second. $6.99? Did you want a queen mattress for $6.99? Absolutely not. What is the secret Krabby Patty ingredient? Crabs. Crabs? Because Mr. Crab is a crab. That's the Where does he get them from? That's the secret. You want me to dye your hair, baby? Absolutely not. <laughs> not ready for that. Oh my god, I love you. She's like, put me down. <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> Ew, human. Don't touch me. It is much later now. The extensions are dyed. It literally looks like my hair. I'm so excited. Now it's time to put them in. Separated all of the hair above my ear. I braided it. Now I'm going to pin it back so it's like hidden like this. This is going to hide all of the baby hairs from under the extension. It's really nothing crazy. It's just like to hide it. Simple. Using a three clip extension, I'm gonna clip that under the braids. And then using a four clip, put that on top of the braids. Oh my god, this looks amazing so far. <laughs> Wait, who is she? I'm going to let some more hair down and cover those extensions up. It's like so messy. Nothing about this is like very precise. Using another four piece, I'm gonna go on top of that. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna let down some more hair on the sides of my head. I'm gonna add a three clip extension. Do the sides of my hair. Go in like halfway using a two piece. I feel like if I was like going out, I would just like tease the hair so it like sticks very tight onto this. But since I'm just staying home, I would probably curl this hair too because I'm not really into like straight, straight hair. If I wanted to, I would cut this one in half and I'd put like one right here and one right here. This looks freaking crazy! Oh, baby! Who is she? Oh, girl! Next time I do this, I'm going to clip up this piece because I don't like that it's like hanging out. Not cute. I have these like texturizing scissors. I'm just gonna like run it like along the hair, just like the pieces in the front. Give them some like texture. Nothing too crazy. Just cut them so they're like not all like one length. This is probably not how you're supposed to do this, but like this looks so freaking good. This looks awesome. These look so sick. I can't get over it. I'm obsessed. I am literally so obsessed with them. I think it looks so freaking good. Like I'm gonna be wearing these in every single video now. I'm in love, I'm in love, I can't stop. I wanna see what these look like curled. If you guys know any other ways that I can like blend them into my hair and make them look even more natural, let me know in the comment section below. What do you think of the color? Let me know in the comment section below. How do you think they turned out? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Click that bell button, turn on your post notifications. You can follow me on all my social media at Mackenzie Marie and I will see you here in my next video. Toodles!